How's it going guys? So I just got done installing an inverter in the Chevy Volt. Um, I know a lot of people have been wondering, uh, like with gas cars, you can hook up a 12 volt inverter to the car's 12 volt battery and it'll recharge if you have your vehicle running with the alternator. But a good amount of people wonder the same thing with electric cars. Can you hook up an inverter to the car's onboard 12 volt battery and will it still be able to have that 12 volt battery recharge uh, with the electric car's high voltage battery? And the answer is yes. It's the same idea with an internal combustion engine as it is with an electric car. The electric car's onboard high voltage battery will in fact recharge the 12 volt battery that is in the back, in this case, of my Chevy Bolt. So let me show you what I got going on inside. So in the back of the Volt here, you can see I have a 12 volt inverter. This one is rated at 500 watts continuous. I probably won't ever pull that much power, but it apparently can do that much. I have a connector here connecting the inverter to the car's 12 volt battery, the negative terminal and the positive terminal. I had to cut a little hole out here for the connector to slip through because there was no other way for this to sit flush down in the back of the car with the um, connector coming out of this slot here. So I had to cut a little hole in the side and so now we got this sitting right here. This is where the car's uh, charger that comes with the car normally sits, but I'm gonna have the inverter sit here. So we just got it turned on, it's displaying wattage. The input is 13.5 volts and the output is 120 volts zero watts currently i'm gonna start up the car here and i'll show you how the car automatically starts charging the onboard 12 volt battery but right now the onboard 12 volt battery is at 13.5 volts and now it's at 14.4 volts because i just turned on the car so the car's main high voltage battery is in fact recharging its 12 volt battery here in the back so it's at 14.4 volts. I'm gonna put a 200 watt load on this just to show you that the voltage doesn't drop too much because once the voltage starts to drop and it senses a load, the car will automatically start recharging its onboard 12 volt battery. So let me go ahead and get that hooked up. I got this little 200 watt, uh, just little uh, space heater that's meant to just heat up your little cubicle area, say in like an office building or something. It's not meant to heat up a whole room, but it's rated at 200 watts. The voltage has now gone down a little bit on the car's main, uh, on the car's 12 volt battery as there is a 200 watt load. Switch to wattage here, there's 189 watts being drawn from the car's onboard 12 volt battery now that we got the heater running the car's at 13.8 now but it's slowly still trying to recharge the car's 12 volt battery as there is a load it'll uh even out here in just a minute and it won't go any lower as the onboard charger is able to keep up with charging the car's 12 volt battery Okay, so I've had it running for a couple minutes here, and like I said, now it's just sitting at 13.7 volts, the car's 12 volt battery, um, as the car is able to keep up with the amount of power being drawn out through the heater, uh, the charger is able to keep up with uh, keeping the 12 volt battery charged using the car's onboard high voltage battery. It's actually gone up to 13.8 volts now. The car is on, you can see that there and the onboard generator slash engine is not running on the Volt. It is using the Volt's high voltage battery to recharge the onboard 12 volt battery. And it's actually gone up to 13.9 volts now. So it's actually definitely able to keep up with this 200 watt load that this little space heater is drawing. 
it's 186 watts currently. So yeah, that's the little setup I got going. It's nice uh, to have in case you ever need some standard outlets to plug anything into while you're out and about. Um, at least if your car does have some battery and it's high voltage battery to charge the 12 volt battery. And if not, the generator in the car will kick in and run the engine to recharge the car's high voltage battery, which in turn charge, recharges the car's 12 volt battery. So there you have it. You can in fact hook up an inverter to your electric vehicle's 12 volt battery that it has, whether it's in the back or in the front of the vehicle. The car's high voltage battery, similar to an alternator in a gas vehicle, will recharge the onboard 12 volt battery to keep it topped off to where it needs to be. So that's kind of nice. You're able to hook up a inverter to your 12 volt battery in your electric car as well and be able to plug in any plugs that you may need to plug into it while you're out and about and use the power from the vehicle's battery. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to check out my other videos. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you around. Bye.